It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Nerdvengers, what is up? It is Josh, and this is your Nerdy News Rundown for Friday, June 4th, 2021. A slower news day today, but we did get some juicy teases for Anthony Muschietti's The Flash movie, teasing out something cool for Michael Keaton's Batman, and some indication of how much the film has already done as far as filming is concerned. But first, I wanted to show you this piece of art, a cool little detail coming out from the set of Doctor Strange 2 Into the Multiverse of Madness. Now, we had heard that this film had wrapped. Apparently, it's not completely wrapped, but very close to being wrapped, and a lot of gifts are being given out to the crew to sort of com commemorate their time working on this project. Here's the artwork right here. It shows Wanda the Scarlet Witch behind everybody. Then it shows Wong and Doctor Strange and also America Chavez, and they all seem to be in front of one of those star-like portals that that we know America Chavez can punch through different universes in the comic book. So this just indicates a lot of the things that we had been hearing in leaks and rumors leading up to Doctor Strange 2 seem to be correct. One of the most recent reports was that America Chavez was a very key part of the movie and that the main villain of Doctor Strange 2 will be Shuma Gorath and Shuma Gorath will be coming after America Chavez to get her universe, you know, teleportation powers in order to destroy the Marvel multiverse or something like that. So pretty cool and just a nice little tease of some elements of the film that we know will more or less be in place. Now the rumors when it comes to Doctor Strange 2 are very crazy, almost as crazy as some of the things we've heard for Spider-Man 3. So who knows exactly all of the juicy things that could be in the film. A lot of people are saying that the film is just so Sam Raimi. I've heard comments being made about how it's going to be a visual spectacle and just really ridiculous. But this piece of artwork here, again, sort of lining up with some reports that we've we've heard in the past. I also know America Chavez is kind of a controversial figure. Some people not exactly pumped that she'll be playing such a significant role in the movie. This piece of artwork kind of does suggest that, yeah, she will be playing a huge role in the film. Again, also lining up with past reports. Let us know what you think about all of that in the comments section below. And now let's move into a little Batman tease, and it's for Anthony Muschietti's The Flash film. He posted this on his Instagram earlier today. This is, of course, the bat symbol on the famous Michael Keaton Batman costume with gobulets of blood that, you know, do kind of look like jelly. Uh, the strawberry or raspberry, no doubt. And that wasn't the only cool thing said today on social media about The Flash, but also posted on social media by Anthony Muccietti's wife is a post that the film is one-fourth of the way in the can, meaning they are a quarter away through filming. We should also note that we've seen a lot of set photographs of some pretty crazy things going down at Wayne Manor. And so yeah, The Flash movie's well underway. In some ways, this is even crazy just to report because for a long time, man, you just thought The Flash movie was never going to come out. Like, for real, Road, it seemed like it was never going to actually happen. Now, not only is it happening, but they're posting little teases on social media. We've seen like leaked set photographs. And honestly, a lot of the buzz that I'm hearing behind the scenes is that it's really cool. Like this movie's going to be very grand in scale, pretty freaking hype. And the little blood tease to me, I mean, I think the obvious indication is that you're going to get to see the Batman from those Burton films. You get to see Michael Keaton Batman kicking a bunch of butt, being super violent. Some people are saying that it also sort of evokes the Watchmen symbolism, you know, that famous Watchmen piece of art with the pin and the blood across it, sort of maybe evoking themes from Watchmen as well. I mean, who knows for sure how crazy this film is going to be, but as a DC fan, it is reassuring to see Anthony Muccietti and his wife posting stuff on social media about The Flash, feeling like, yeah, this thing's actually going to happen, and just hearing that sub sort of buzz behind the scenes that, like, this, this movie's going to be pretty freaking crazy. I mean, who knows, man? This could be the answer to DC's problems in a lot of different ways. We do know that it is more or less going to ad adapt the uh, Flashpoint storyline from the comic books. We've seen multiversal stuff going on, new suit stuff, you know, for Barry. So, hey, the film's going to happen. Flash... Maybe it'll be the thing to sort of set the DCEU on a, a better path forward or at least give them some options moving forward. Regardless, cool 
teases on social media. I think we get a very violent Batman coming out. What do you think the tease means, and are you excited for this Flash movie? I know we've got a lot of Snyderverse people over here. I'm a Snyderverse person as well, but I still remain excited for the Flash film. I mean, Affleck's Batman is going to be in this as well. I think it could be a cool sort of way to tie the multiverse together. I'm pumped for it. Definitely want to know what you think in the comments section below. Also want to tease out that we have a very cool Loki preview video coming out either later today or tomorrow. Look for that video. And also, we're going to have an exclusive piece of merchandise that's only going to be available for the Loki show. It's only going to be available on our Teespring store during the show, while the show is airing, and then we're going to take it away and retire it forever. So if you're into that sort of thing and you think it looks cool, make sure you check out the Loki video, the live streams we're going to be doing where we'll be doing watch parties and a lot of coverage of Loki. We're very excited for that Loki show. And check out the merch as well. As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.